What's up guys, how you all doing? Adam here and I am back for another video. And the reason for this one is because since the WWDC announcement the other day, I have had a complete bombardment of tweets saying, why do you use Mac OS? Why don't you use Windows? You've got this lovely new PC. Why are you still using that old trash can? Why are you still using Mac OS? Windows is so much better. <laughs> and whilst I realize that a lot of those are fueled by passion and it's great to be passionate about the products that you use. There's also a kind of important few questions that sit directly behind that as well. Now, during that announcement, I tweeted that I really liked the look of some of the new features inside the new Mac OS. And I actually prefer the name as well. Mac OS is better than OS X, in my opinion. Uh, so there was a few features in there and I tweeted that out and so many people said Mac is awful, Mac is rubbish, like I said before. So the reason for this video really is to just talk to you about my top five reasons as to why I choose to use Mac OS over Windows 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, whatever version it is that you want to use these days. So reason number one actually and probably the most important reason and the reason I actually started using Mac in the first place is because... For a long time, I have been implementing Windows-based networks. In fact, for about 20 years. In fact, the first couple of years was more mainframe, AS400, Unix type stuff. But since then, it's all been Windows. And I have to do certifications on Windows. I have to be certified all the way through the whole Windows server range, Active Directory, Microsoft Exchange, Microsoft SQL, and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. And I realized that because I was sitting at work doing that for 10, 12 hours a day, every single day of the week, that when I came home and I wanted to do some of my own stuff on my computer, it was becoming a bit of a kind of chore to do that because it felt like work. So what I decided to do was I thought, right, I'm going to look at a different operating system. At the time, Linux was nowhere near being ready for the desktop and there wasn't any real kind of Unix alternative that I could have used. So I looked at the Mac operating system and the Mac computers and I got one and I started using it and I found that I just really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the fact that I had work uh, Windows at work and then I came home and for my own stuff, for my own creative work, I had the Mac operating system and it's kind of stuck with me ever since and I still have that switch between the two. In fact now when I connect up to Windows operating systems I'm generally doing it using something like Remotix from my Mac. So that works great for me, it's not going to be the same for everybody, some people Windows is much much more kind of aligned to the way of their, the, what they're doing. Gamers is an obvious example of that. And for other people, Mac is much more aligned to what they're doing. And I just find that the applications that you get with Mac, the ecosystem that sits around it, the kind of people that are involved with it, it leads to be a more creative platform. That's what I've personally found. I don't say that's the same for everybody. There's loads of creatives out there that use Windows, obviously. But for me, that was kind of the number one reason for A, the switch, and B, for the kind of continued use of it. Now, reason number two is going to sound quite strange to you, but I actually find that using Mac computers is cheaper than using Windows PCs. And I'll explain to you why. I know I'm gonna get a load of terrible comments, blah, 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 about this, but let me explain to you why I personally think that is. Now, every year or two, I replace my MacBook Pro, I replace my MacBook, I would like to replace my Mac Pro, but Apple being uh, ignorant Apple that they are, don't replace it until they decide to. Now, the way that I do that is I buy the new machine, and then the next year, or the next 18 months, or the next two years, I sell it. And the resale value of that Mac is significantly better than any PC I've ever owned. And I've owned hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of PCs. I've owned also name brand PCs as well. Things like the Alienware range, for example. And even those being great PCs, you can pick those up so cheap secondhand. When you compare it to the price of a MacBook Pro, for example, or a MacBook, you'll find they hold their value significantly more and significantly longer as well. And I find that if you work it out over a typical write-off period, which is about five years, I actually save money by buying the more expensive Mac computer compared to the PC. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense anyway. That's the kind of way that I look at it. I definitely spend less doing it the way that I do it than the way I used to do it with PCs. And by 
basically buying a new PC, the minute you've got it, it's worth hardly anything. Whereas with a Mac, it's worth quite a lot of money for a significant amount of time. Now next up, being someone who has implemented Windows networks for a very, very long time, sometimes to huge scales, sometimes deploying hundreds and hundreds of servers at once, I am someone who hates the timer. I'm someone who hates updates. I'm someone who hates all of the kind of riffraff that goes around with deploying Windows based operating systems. Even when you do an installation of Windows 10, you have to constantly reboot in the first few hours to install these updates, install these updates. And it's just a nightmare. And those things simply just don't happen on the Mac operating system. Everything is much more streamlined, much quicker and just much more efficient. Now, in addition to that, you've also got the issues of viruses. Now, for those of us that understand why you get viruses from the internet, why you get viruses from certain documents, you can plan your life, have zero antivirus, and never get a virus in your life. But it's a pain doing that. You have to constantly think about it. So if you don't want to do that, then you've got to start deploying an antivirus. Now antivirus takes up resource, it makes your device slower, and it's just generally something that's quite intrusive and horrible and you just don't want. With Mac, I've never had a single virus. I have run antivirus scanners to check, but I've never had a single virus issue on a Mac, and I'm totally not careful about what I look at, where I go, and no, not what you're thinking. Maybe sometimes, but anyway, so there, that is reason number three. Now, reason number four is something that is a little bit different. It may take a little bit of understanding if you're not familiar with the terminology, but Mac is based on Unix or BSD, however you want to look at it. A lot of people think that Mac is much less flexible, much less configurable than Windows. They clearly have a lack of understanding in the basis that it is based around a Unix or a BSD operating system. That means that with the shell, you can completely configure anything that you want to. You can write your own scripts. You can do absolutely anything on a Mac PC or a Mac-based operating system. In Windows, for a long time, all you had was DOS. That's literally all you ever had to configure it along with the file system and the registry. Totally not flexible in any way whatsoever. More recently, we've got the PowerShell, which has definitely added a whole bunch of functionality to Windows, but that's exactly what it's done. It's an add-on to Windows, and that's as far as it goes. The shell and the entire Unix or, or BSD command line that, that, Win, that Mac is based around is the foundation of the operating system. It's what it's built on. There is no registry, for example. It's just a much, much more powerful way of doing things. And to me, that's another huge reason, reason that I use Mac over Windows. It's much, much more flexible and powerful in terms of the operating system with that shell. And reason number five and the final reason is because you can run Windows on a Mac. I can easily dual boot my Macs, quite often I do. I can run Windows on my Mac Pro, I can run Windows on my MacBook Pro, on my MacBook. I can literally run Windows on any device that I want to that comes out of Apple, whereas the other way around, yes, you can do a hacking tosh, but believe you me, for those of you that haven't done it, it is not the most straightforward thing in the world. You can only use certain types of hardware and it's just a pain. You have got to constantly be fiddling around with it and it's just not ideal. So I don't wanna be doing that. I wanna just be using the Mac as and when I want to without having to worry about updating it and then having to install certain texts and do certain things with the launcher and just a whole bunch of stuff that I don't wanna be wasting my time with. Anyway guys, I hope you found that useful. Obviously this is a fairly controversial video, but it's just my own personal opinion. Like I say, it's good that people be passionate about the products that they use. It's very, very important to be passionate about everything in your life. But for me, that's why I use it. Windows has been the foundation of my career. I love Windows, I love using Windows. The server side of it, I absolutely adore. It's fantastic, it's given me a living that I owe a lot to it for. So yeah, I am not biased against Windows in any way whatsoever, that's just my own personal opinion. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do go ahead and hit that like button if you like this kind of video. If you've got more ideas for videos like this, leave them down in the comments below and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.